वेलकम टू श्रुति लक्ष्मी वर्चुअल क्लास रूम टूडे वर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सब्टिजिमल्स सो लेट सी द स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट डाउन द डिजिमल नंबर्स एंड रिमेंबर दैट वी हैव टू लाइन अप द डिजिमल पॉइंट्स एग्जैक्टली ऑन टॉप ऑफ इच अदर नेक्स्ट कन्वर्ट द डिजिमल्स टू लाइक डिजिमल्स then we arrange the subtrahend so the digits of the same place or in the same column then we subtract the numbers from right to left as we would when we subtract normally finally we place the decimal point straight down in the answer line now let's see an example let's subtract 43.7 and 0.45 so let's write the decimal numbers For forty three point seven, so write four, then three, then put a decimal point, then write seven. Now for zero point four five, so write zero point four five. So as you see, it says that we have to convert the decimals to like decimals. So that means that the digits after the decimal point should be the same. So we add a zero here. Remember that forty three point seven and forty three point seven zero is the same, because when we add a zero, it doesn't change the decimal number's value. So let's subtract as we would normally do. Remember that we cannot subtract five from zero, so we borrow one from the tenth digit. So the tenth digit becomes six. And the hundredth digit becomes ten. So ten minus five is five. Six minus four is two. Then we put the decimal point down in the answer line. Then we do three minus zero, which is three. Next, we write the four as it is. So forty-three point seven minus zero point four five. Is forty three point two five. Let's see another example. Let's find the difference of fifteen point eight six and seven point five. So write fifteen point eight six and remember that the decimal points have to be aligned. So write minus seven point five. To convert fifteen point eight six and seven point five to like decimals. We add a zero behind the five in seven point five. When you are adding a zero, it doesn't change the decimal number's value. So let's subtract as we would when we do normally. So six minus zero is six. Eight minus five is three. Then we put the decimal point as it is. So five minus seven. Since we cannot subtract seven from five, we have to borrow one from the next digit. So one becomes zero, and the five becomes fifteen. So fifteen minus seven is eight. So. Fifteen point eight six minus seven point five is eight point three six. Let's see another example. Find the difference of five and two point six nine. Here, five is not a decimal number, while two point six nine is a decimal number. To change five to a decimal number, we write it as five point zero. Five point zero and five is the same. Remember that we have to line the decimal points exactly on top of each other. So we write two here, then we place the decimal point six and nine. Remember that we have to make the decimal numbers to like decimals. So we add a zero here. Next, we subtract. So as you see, we cannot take nine from zero. So we borrow one. Here also there is a zero. So we go to the next digit, which is five. So we borrow one 
from 5 which makes it 4. Then remember that this is a 0. So this is a 9. And then this is 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 6 is 3. Then we place a decimal point. Next 4 minus 2 is 2. So 5 minus 2.69 is 2.31. Thanks for watching.